Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at an interesting question about aggregating empty cells in Excel. Coming right up. So this question is interesting. What it is, is this person has two columns, column A and column B. Column A will always have values in it, so I've, I've replicated that here. And that column B will have values that are input. But what he wants is to have a total at the bottom that subtracts these two columns. He wants B to be subtracted from A, but only when column B is not empty. That's what we're gonna look at here. But before we get to that, I want to show you a, some tricks about aggregating empty and not empty cells, and that's gonna help us with this. You can see that in rows 22 and 23, I have blank and not blank. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually counting the number of blanks and not blank cells in this column. And the way it works is, and the reason I'm gonna use uh, COUNTIF is because it's easier to see. When you want to count or aggregate items that are blank, you use double quotation marks, double quotes. So that's your criteria. So count everything in F4 to F15 that's blank, double quotes, and that means there's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not blank, however, you're basically doing the less than, greater than sign. So not equal to, essentially, is count everything in a range that is not blank. So not blank does not mean zero. So zero means there's something there that will change. So blank or empty means there's nothing in that cell. That's gonna be an important tool that we use to solve this problem. So what we want to do is we're gonna use the sumif function. The range is, oh, not here. <laughs> sumif, so the range, criteria range is right here. So everything in this column that is not blank, if that's true, then I want to sum up this. All right, that's the one piece. All right, so this should give me everything in column A where column B is not blank. 1488, 1488, I'm good, okay. Now, the next piece is I want to take this and subtract this number. So that's pretty easy, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna do sum of column B minus the sum of column A where there it meets the, the criteria that we met, okay? So that, that works with my check. What I'd done is I'd gone and manually said, okay, take all of the items here, all the items here. That way I know that my logic works. So now you can scale this formula. Um, that you know that it's going to apply on 600 rows or however many it is that he has here. If you want to aggregate blank cells, make sure you use double quotes. Not blank cells is the less than greater than. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe for future updates. Talk to you later.